You know what really, really, really grinds my gears? The Twilight fan base. You want to know why? They are the most crazy people ever to walk on this planet. One. Well, let me at least give you three friggin' reasons for or them being absolutely not wired upstairs. One. They think vampires sparkle. News flash. I've seen vampires from the Mortal Kombat series. I've seen them from anime. I even read up on one vampire from anime on two Mortal Kombat guest thing bios and DeviantArt. And I got news for you, idiots. They don't sparkle. Are you not using your freaking head meat? God gave you all that gray matter slopping around up here for a reason, you know. So you can use it. Two. They think the books and the movies are so amazing that everyone needs to see them. I want all of you, all of you idiotic fangirls. Now, there are some fangirls that have a lot of gray matter upstairs, and you're all exempt from my range, but the rest of you, I want you to go and rush out into your car and go to the and go to that dimension from Uzumaki by Junji Ito. Great trip, great, great manga, by the way. Read it, but I recommend it to all you horror lovers like me. And find all the invisible dams I give about it. Seriously. And the worst reason, if you are an unbiased person who's ready, willing, and able to look at everything from both sides of the freaking fence, they will attack you. I mean, I've heard that a girl had her arm broken for having an opinion. Another, and guys get jumped because of, because of Twilight. And God forbid if somebody ends up hurt really bad because of it. I mean, if you idiotic fangirls go to the loony bin, not my problem. If you go to the slammer, not my problem. If you end up if you end up on death row in the gas chamber, not my damn problem. I'm just going to continue being me for the past, I don't know, 13 freaking years that I've been in this household. And yeah, this is just one guy's freaking opinion. Yeah, whatever. And then there's the One Directioners. I crap you not, the One freaking Dimen Directioners. Well... Pardon me for saying that they also must have three functioning brain cells. And have the attention span as wide as this. This? This is my 2016 class ring. That's how much your attention span is. This? Yeah. Sonic fan base, mellowed out. Anime fan bases. Not at all, Elf and Lead. Really amazing anime. Yu-Gi-Oh! Hell. Frickin'. Frickin' Bakugan. Or One Piece. Also, while well, on the subject of One Piece, am I the only one to think that this series has too many goddamn fillers? All I want to see Luffy beating the crud out of fools. Not all this BS. Ugh. Let me just move on to something else before I have a freaking aneurysm. <sighs> Alright. On the plus side. Alright. On the plus side, and... Um, also... On the plus side... My mom's birthday is coming up on Saturday, and she's going to the Big Apple. And... Let me stare, share a little story with all of you. The first time I've been to the Big Apple, or New York City, for those of you who don't want to 
want to be a little politically correct. With Aunt Barb, Uncle Peter, my mom, and my dad. And, dare I say, it was pretty... Yeah, it wasn't one of the best vacations I took, and it wasn't the worst. And, we've been to that pub that was in the in Ghostbusters. Really awesome movie, seen it when I was younger. Really good stuff. You know? And, uh, I've also been to the Caribbean. And as they would have it, my good buddy James Foreman, you can uh, shout out to him. Well, uh, oh yeah, my story, sorry. Got a little side got, sorry. Folks, if you know one thing about me, it's that my brain has a tendency to crap out. But, hey, we're humans, right? Right. But, but look at this. Also, and for you parents out there, I just have one question. Have you ever stopped to think that your own kid is spoiled rotten? That's those parents who mean well to humanity and have great kids, like my own loving parents. Well, adopted parents, but let's be realistic. I have seen, I have, I've seen 16 year old, 16, 17, 18, and even 15 year olds act like they're friggin' free. And this is coming from a guy who has autism. Well, the subject of autism is a spectrum disorder. So, people, respect us autistic kids, and we'll respect you. Capiche? Now, on to lighter news. GTA 5, oh, because, oh my goodness, GTA 5 is going to be updated for the PS3, PS4, and Xbox One. Ugh. Now, I'm not one for being a spoiled rotten jerk, but when I'm 17, that's probably one of the first M-rated games I'm going to get on my birthday. Also... Also, the Slender Stabbing. Just shut up about it, about it. Slender Man is a fictional character, for Christ's sake. I mean, heaven almighty. Ugh. Hey, pretty, that girl got stabbed like 20 friggin' times. Now, I know it said 19 times, but I'm rounding it up to 20, because, hey, math. Gotta love it. <laughs> But in all seriousness, they need to be locked up in the freaking crazy house with the Twilight Pier base. I bet they can get along swimmingly. And, um... There's gonna be a new Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare. Yay! And you can tell I'm not excited by it. Also... Also, I'd like to leave your two cents on any fan base. No, seriously. I, 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 I like to see what you guys think. And so, hit up the comment section below. Leave a like. Maybe a, maybe share this with your friends. Because this, because you're listening and looking at somebody who has a lot of common sense. So, John Peterson saying peace.